Maximet end mill on each of these facets and that's going to leave us a really good finish because that end mill has wiper facet geometry on it. But I want better than that. I'm going to show you guys a tool that you have never seen in your life. So most of us have seen burnishing tools for lathes and we use these when we need a superior finish, an extra hard surface, or when we need to hold a super tight tolerance like on a bearing journal. But have you ever seen a burnishing tool for a mill? Now this thing's pretty awesome. It's got five little posts on here that are spring loaded and on the tip of each post is a diamond. Now each of these diamonds is at exactly the same height and the tool comes preset from the factory like that. And the way this tool works is it takes the peaks created by the milling process and crushes them down into the valleys. This gives you a superior surface finish. Now some of you may have seen Chris's video where he did like a 16 sided polygon on the grinder, but today we're going to be doing an 800 sided polygon. Now the reason I have this very small boss at the bottom of the part is so that I can put it into a collet chuck and then spin it around in our spindle. Hopefully we're able to get good enough finishes that we're able to get some good reflectivity out of our lights and give you guys a decent light show. Now you look at this and you'll see I'm not being very aggressive with this second operation roughing. As we start our second operation of this part, you'll notice that we're using a different tool and we're using a less aggressive roughing strategy. The reason we're doing this is because I don't have very much to hold on to on the bottom of this part and I don't want this thing flying out of the vise. <laughs> Oh, 